So I've created my grid. I've added a couple of topics inside my grid. And now it's time to share this out with my participants so that they can start adding their responses to topics. So here I am uh, in my grids tab, and I can see all seven of my grids. I'm going to choose the grid that I wish to share. And again, this is for sharing the entire grid. I can simply click the blue share button here in the row for my grid. Notice that I can share the URL, so I can either copy just the code and email the code out to my participants, or I can copy the entire link to the grid and again, email that out to uh, my group of participants. I can also embed my grid. So let's say that I've set up a Google site, I can actually embed uh, this grid onto my Google site or even a SharePoint site in Office 365. I can also generate a QR code, which I can download, cut out, and then put up somewhere in my classroom. And then that way students or participants can just scan the QR code to get access to the grid. Now, what if I want to share just a specific topic? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the grid. Now, again, inside the grid, I can choose to share the entire grid, but I can also share individual topics. So I created that tech tips topic for my tech coaches uh, in hopes of gathering responses from tech coaches at all the different levels, elementary, junior high, and high school. Uh, I can share this particular topic by just simply clicking on the share button in the row of that particular topic. And again, I can share the flip code by copying it and pasting it into an email. I can share the topic link with my participants by copying the link and uh, sharing it in an email. I can embed this particular topic uh, students will be able to actually interact with the topic and record right on the page that I've embedded this topic on, uh, or I can generate that QR code. It's as simple as that to share my grid or share a specific topic in order to start engaging students and amplifying student voice.